Are you sure that's not our boat? It looks like our boat. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's go check All right, out. there's our boat coming in. So we gotta get all the way over there and check in. Check but we're in. eating ice cream, so we gotta take our time. Mmm, moon mist, my new favorite. Too bad we never gonna get it again. Like the big version of what you're used to. Yeah. yeah, they're just getting around under there. Dude, they're like fish. Yep, the tide got a lot lower since yesterday. See underneath the entire thing we used to be. We were up there yesterday. That is kind of insane. That is definitely like, I don't even want to know, like 20 feet. Everything is almost beached. And I'm gonna fall. All right, falling or not falling? <laughs> that is the question. That's too much. Welcome. Yeah, welcome to the lower level, the lower deck. Yeah, man. This feels so much closer, yet same, but different. Yeah. Same. Oh crap, is that our boat? <laughs> That's probably it. Like you have it, once they can totally, you know, sit us. Look at all the barnacles. the crusher claw is, you could tell if lime is right or left-handed. So he is a left-handed lobster. So who wants to hold the lime? Well, that was a lovely way to end our trip on that lovely whale watching excursion. Now enjoy this clip of my cat Gracie while I explain what happened next. This story took a bit of a turn. We spent our last night in our lovely home at St. Andrews by the Sea and the next day we went to make our way home all the way from New Brunswick back to Ontario. But what happened was we ended up in a car accident, details of which I will leave out for my dad's dignity. However, the airbags deployed and I cried even though I was in the back seat. But anyway, we ended up meeting some really nice tow truck drivers, so here's what happened question next. Anything, if you like, because I work with him all the time, right? Yeah. If you question anything, then he instantly gets mad. And he's like, what do you mean? I told you to drink milk, drink milk. Just trust me, I'm 70. Just drink, trust me, that's what I said. Like, he instantly gets mad because you're like questioning what he said. Yeah. Oh my God. All the time. We usually get him revved up like in the afternoon just to get him revved up. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> 
poor guy is gonna like have a heart attack or something. That's the way he is. He's like super <laughs> high strung. We just like to get him all angry. And I, I never argue with that kind of people because I used to. But it's and like, you learn like it's you're just not, not going to change your mind. No, you know? you're not. Like, no. No. Yeah, well, you just do it because he gets so hateful. Yeah. And then he'll leave and then we make fun of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like enjoyable for us. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess as long as he's harmless, yeah. Yeah, he's harmless. Oh, we just wait. So he got like a big vein that'll pop out in his neck. And oh. one eye kind of goes closed and the other one opens and he's like, I told ya! <laughs> it just like freaks out. It's hilarious. That's fun. But yeah, he knows everything. Like, he's never wrong. Doesn't matter what you said. Oh, man. Even like, it doesn't matter anything. Even about like women having babies, like he knows more than the women having oh, babies. Yeah. Like just anything. Uh, those kind of like people. how would you know, Derek? Have you ever had a yeah. baby? Uh, like when was the last time you had a baby? <laughs> like, just everything. It's hilarious. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is the main Mac to Crack Dam. All That's right. cool. Wow, see, you guys got like your own CAA built-in yeah. friggin' tour guide. I know. Yeah, I'm That's sure amazing. Jack's room. <laughs> and charge them. Charge them. <laughs> cracking, letting water through is becoming unstable and unsafe. So wow. every year in the summer, that's what they're doing here. They drill these big holes and they take out concrete from the middle so it has room to expand. And that's what they're doing here. Oh, wow. So they're just down to one lane all summer. That sucks. Because they drill it the whole way across and they make these big tube holes. And next summer, the dam will swell more, the concrete will swell more, and it'll fill in those holes, and they have to drill again yeah, but to make um, space to expand. But That's every time annoying. you do that, you're weakening the concrete, aren't you? Probably, yes. So at some point, oh, it'll God. need to be redone. Well, that's what they're fighting about right now. They don't know if it's cheaper just to take the dam. We're, we're PTSD now. You're allowed to smoke weed when you have it. So, here we are. Hello. At you were not showing me. At the okay. collision center. I am showing you. Where are you? Hey, you're in the frame. <laughs> oh my god, I look like a Dweeb. A Dweeb? Dweeb. A Dweeb? Da. Dweeb. Da Dweeb. Who's David? Uh, da, da Marijuana. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. What? We got in an accident, but it had nothing to do with me or him. So yeah. When I say we, I mean the party of us. I mean, you know. Are you filming the walk of shame? Yeah, the walk <laughs> of shame. He, she's using the front camera. I don't really want to talk about it, but I just wanted to add it in as a step in our journey. So now we're in Fredericton. And we got a rental car situation going on. It wasn't supposed to come till tomorrow, but You're now it's coming. You start into that. Okay, cool. It's coming within the hour, so I'm so happy. Because we were almost delayed an extra day and a half okay. to two days, so I'm happy that I'm mostly just worried about our kitties. So I just want to make sure we're home in time to smuggle them and feed them. I was supposed to see my kitties tonight, but obviously it didn't go that way. But it's okay, because we're both still alive. <laughs> we're both still alive. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize what was happening. No, no, all good. Yeah, I'm... I mean, I think I'm gonna sue your father, because I have PTSD now. I know. Dude, you know what he said? I don't... Okay, you don't need to put this in the vlog, necessarily. But he said, like, if we were to sue him... Be the money that would get out wouldn't even be like his money, but the insurance money. So you're actually suing the insurance company. Nice. So like, I'm like, maybe we should do that. Yeah, just for fun. No, millions of dollars. Millions, okay. Multiple millions. Well, if you ever have a uh, any sustained injuries from this, it's then... gonna hurt my belly. Yeah, I'm fine though. We are all fine and we're all alive. So. It's okay, but yeah, it's just a bump in the road, if you will. Go on. But we're obviously okay. <laughs> this is... <laughs> it's not a cigarette. I don't smoke cigarettes. Are you okay?
Roach territory. Yeah. Where they close the roads that lead us home. <laughs> Took forever. We get to the road that says Toronto and it's fucking closed. I think I do want a coffee from the first Timmy's or McDonald's or whatever. And it doesn't have to be the first because we just peed. That's it? There was no big welcome sign? We're not in Ontario yet. Oh. Oh yeah. We're not because it still says Kush Tard on the Max. <laughs> Kush Tard. <laughs> uh, that's a nice name. Moi, je couche tard. Means I go to sleep late. Oh, there's the. Is oh, that it? Bye, Quebec flags. Hello. It says, Welcome to Ontario. I couldn't be fucking happier. It still took us another five hours to make it through Ontario, but finally, by 6 a.m., we made it home safe and sound to our kitties who are just absolutely adorable we miss them so much we had a lot of fun on this trip and um, i'm glad to have these memories to share with you and to watch again as many times as i like so thank you for coming on this journey and i'll see you in the next one